During the Neogene, the world's oceans were home to a host of hostile predators. From voracious raptorial sperm whales to giant double-billed swordfish. Of course, the most iconic and notorious of these massive marine monsters was none other than the mighty Megalodon. In this video, we'll be going over 10 interesting facts about the Megalodon, from its discovery to its evolution and eventual extinction. Throughout human history, giant fossilized shark teeth have been found all around the world. However, most people didn't really know what to make of these findings, and the true origin and identity of these teeth were clouded in mystery. It was during the first century that the Roman naturalist and natural philosopher Pliny the Elder theorized that these teeth were really meteorites that fell onto the earth during a lunar eclipse. During the Middle Ages, people believed that these teeth were actually the petrified tongues of giant snakes and dragons. They named them Glossopetra, meaning tongue stones. It wasn't until 1666 that the true nature of these tongue stones was revealed. Danish geologist and anatomist Nicholas Deneau was dissecting the carcass of a great white shark. And notice how the shark's teeth were very similar in shape to Glossopetra. Steno realized that these so-called tongue stones were actually the teeth of a giant shark. Over 170 years later, the giant shark that these teeth belonged to finally had a name. In 1835, Swiss naturalist Louis Agassi gave this shark its initial scientific name, Carcarius Megalodon, based on the tooth remains. The name would later be changed to Carcarodon Megalodon, and then Carcararoclis Megalodon, still under the assumption that these animals were the ancestors of modern-day great white sharks. Today, Ototus Megalodon is the more taxonomically correct name, and is what is used in modern scientific literature. Based on the fossil record, Megalodon had quite an extensive range. The animal was patrolling the world's oceans from 16 to 3.5 million years ago, and teeth of Megalodon have been found on every continent except Antarctica. Based on the fossil distributions, Megalodon preferred temperate and subtropical regions. The range of Megalodon is an example of a cosmopolitan distribution, where an animal's range extends all across or most of the world in appropriate habitats. Modern-day animals with cosmopolitan distribution include great white sharks, orcas, and humans. Megalodon is a member of the now-extinct Ododontidae family of sharks, also known as the Megatooth sharks. The ododontids belong to the Lemniformes order of sharks that includes modern-day great white sharks, goblin sharks, and basking sharks. While there are more discoveries to be made, the fossil record gives us an accurate glimpse into the evolutionary history of these animals. Creed alumna Appendiculata was a 3 meter long shark that lived during the late Cretaceous from approximately 100 to 90 million years ago. The animal is believed to have been a pelagic predator, and would have fed on a variety of prey from bony fish to soft body cephalopods. While many scientists consider this animal to be an ancestor of the mighty Megalodon, it's worth noting that its exact position as an early member of Ododontids is still being disputed. After the extinction of non-avian dinosaurs, we begin to see the Ododontids truly take on larger sizes. This new chapter of the Megatooth sharks began with the massive predator Ototus oblicus. Measuring at 9 meters long, Ototus oblicus was a massive shark that roamed the world's oceans from 60 to 45 million years ago. The animal was the top predator of its time and would have hunted early marine mammals, crocodiles, large bony fish, and other sharks. At around 40 million years ago, a new group of marine mammals began to colonize the seas, the early whales. As whales continued to evolve and diversify, the megatooth sharks continued to grow until the arrival of Megalodon. It's no secret that Megalodon was a big animal, but how big exactly? The largest and most reliable estimates for the length of an adult Megalodon are 14.2 to 15.3 meters, although there are some unconfirmed individuals who may have reached lengths upwards of 18 meters. The animal is believed to have weighed around 40 to 50 metric tons, making it the largest predatory shark to have ever lived. This puts an adult Ototus Megalodon at roughly the same size of a bull sperm whale. The name Megalodon means big tooth and for obvious reasons, as the largest of Megalodon teeth measure 18 centimeters in height. In the past, it was thought that Megalodon was an ancient relative of the great white shark. 
And at first glance, the teeth of both shark appear to be very similar. This is actually due to convergent evolution, where similar forms evolve in different species rather than because of direct descent. But even so, upon closer inspection, there are many noticeable differences between the teeth of these two sharks. For starters, the teeth of Megalodon are much thicker with two C's, and they have a convex cross-section. Great white shark teeth, on the other hand, are thinner and have a straighter shape. Furthermore, Megalodon teeth have smaller, more regular serrations, and the root of the tooth has a V-shape. While Megalodon would have shed its teeth regularly, like great white sharks do, it becomes clear that these teeth were evolved to withstand tremendous force. Which brings us to our next fact. Megalodon had one of the strongest bite forces of any known animal to exist. Based on studies done on modern great white sharks, the bite force of Megalodon was estimated to be 18 tons. In comparison, the bite force of a great white shark ranges from 1.8 to 3 tons. And the maximum bite force for Tyrannosaurus rex is estimated to have been around 5.5 tons. Megalodon put its powerful bite force to good use by targeting marine mammals as its preferred food source. Here are just three examples in the fossil record that show off Megalodon's mammalian snacking habits. Zophia cetus was an active and bizarre cetacean that roamed the coast of Pliocene Europe and North America. The animal measures at around 3.5 meters in length and has a unique elongated snout where the upper jaw extends past the lower jaw. Zephia cetus was basically a tooth whale trying to be a swordfish. Fossils of Zephia cetus were found in the Yorktown Formation of North Carolina and showed evidence of bite marks on the animal's tail. These bite marks were made by none other than the Megalodon and were most likely due to active predation rather than scavenging. In the Pisco Formation of Peru, we have two more cases of Megalodon munching on mammals. Fossils of the prehistoric seal, Piscofoca, show evidence of a Megalodon attack with bite marks stretching across the animal's shoulder blade. Bite marks have also been found on the cheekbones of Pisco Bailina. Since Pisco Bailina was only a mere 3 to 4 meters in length and did not have the ability to echolocate like modern day baleen whales, it was definitely an ideal target for the Megalodon. While Megalodon could basically eat anything it wanted to, it may have preferred marine mammals over other prey items. Marine mammals are rich in calories, fat, and aren't as bony as other marine animals. And we see this preferential prey behavior in modern day sharks such as the great white shark. Despite being an apex predator of its time, Megalodon was far from alone. In the Pisco Formation of Peru, Megalodon was accompanied by another terrifying behemoth. Leviathan. This raptorial sperm whale reached lengths of up to 17.5 meters and weighed a whopping 57 metric tons. In addition, Leviathan were equipped with massive bone crushing teeth, measuring at 36 centimeters in length. These teeth easily outclassed those of a Tyrannosaurus rex and would have dealt serious damage to anything. While Megalodon had the stronger bite force, Leviathan may have used the advantage of higher intelligence. Leviathan may have even been smart enough to exploit the tonic immobility of Megalodon by flipping it over, a tactic modern orcas deploy against great white sharks. In addition, Leviathan may have been a social animal, as seen in their modern day sperm whale relatives. So while a Megalodon could go fin to fin with one Leviathan, a whole pod of them may have been a different story. Of course, it's most likely that these animals avoided each other to prevent unnecessary injury. However, if a fight were to break out between the two, it would definitely go down as one of the top 10 anime battles of prehistory. Just like modern day great white sharks, Megalodon babies spent the beginning of their lives in nursery areas. These were located in shallow coastal areas and provided the baby sharks protection from predators and a safe place to grow. The 10 million year old Miocene Gatun formation in Panama represents the first documented paleo nursery area for Megalodon. Several Megalodon teeth have been found here and the majority of these fossils belong to juvenile animals. Even a baby Megalodon was not an animal to be messed with, as the teeth show that they could be up to 2 to 3 meters long. While the formation lacks in marine mammals, there are ample fossils of bony fish. It's believed that like modern great white sharks, Megalodon's diet shifted as they age. The younger juveniles would have gone for smaller prey like fish, while the adults took on the larger marine mammals. Thank you. 
Megalodon was originally believed to have gone extinct 2.6 million years ago. However, recent studies and reanalysis of the youngest Megalodon specimens suggest that the animal actually went extinct around 3.5 million years ago. And Megalodon wasn't alone, as many marine megafauna species were facing extinction at the end of the Pliocene. From the late Pliocene to the early Pleistocene, the extinction rate of marine megafauna was at least three times higher than any other time during the Cenozoic. This Pleo-Pleistocene extinction event lasted from 5.33 to 0.01 million years ago, and approximately 36% of all marine megafauna genera had gone extinct. Marine mammals were hit the hardest as they lost 55% of their generic diversity. Seabirds lost 35%, sea turtles 43%, and sharks 9%. These extinctions may have been driven by climate change causing the sea levels to fluctuate drastically. As a result, coastal habitats were reduced by 27% worldwide, leading to habitat loss for many species, including marine mammals that Megalodon depended on as a food source. Furthermore, Megalodon was now facing competition from the newly evolved Great White Shark. Ancestors of the Great White Shark, such as Carcharodon hubeli, were already competing for the same food sources as proven by bite marks found in the same whale species that Megalodon ate. And the Great White Shark must have had an easier time adjusting to the changing world by having a more varied diet and eating less food to survive compared to the Megalodon. In the end, it was getting larger that gave megatooth sharks their evolutionary edge, but when faced with a changing world, bigger isn't always better, and thus the reign of Ododontids came to an end with the extinction of Megalodon. With the extinction of Megalodon, orcas became the dominant predator of today's oceans, and baleen whales began to grow larger and larger than ever before. In the absence of the largest predatory shark ever, we now live in a world with the largest animal ever, the blue whale. Before I conclude this video, I would like to give a special thank you to Tyler Greenfield and Philip DeSico for helping me with the research for this video, editing the script, and redesigning the Megalodon. I would also like to give a special thank you to Ethan Lay Studio for producing new background music that was used in this video. You can check out links to their work in the description below. Lastly, I would like to extend my thanks to all of my subscribers, and I am humbled by the continued support for my content. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow Nature's Compendium on social media. You can also support the channel on Patreon and get some neat rewards in return. You can also check out a new wave of Megalodon inspired merchandise available. As always, thank you for watching.